Hey, how's it going? This is Chris with Hilux Optics. And this is Scott. Right, in this edition of SHOT Show Live Preview, uh, we're going to be debuting our new Malcolm 8 Power Mount. Uh, we, we've, we've teased this mount over the course of last year and finally we've got it done. This is the final production. Let them hear that click, man. Yeah. Oh man, super crispy. I love that. In this video, we'll be going over some of the changes that we made in this mount compared to our current lineman mount and even the original mount. And also we'll do a, we'll show a quick comparison of all the, the mounts that we have in this video. So our, our lineman reproduction mount, uh, our original Unertle and our version of the Unertle mount. So we'll do a quick comparison at the end of the video. I think let's go ahead and do a quick one now. Give me five. Virtually no backlash. Now we're going to our previous mount. And now the original Unertle. Okay, great. So let's just take a look at the mount real quick. So if you look at the numbers on the turret, you'll notice that the orientation of the numbers is flipped. Um, uh, the original Unertle, actually, the li our, our, like our alignment mount, we flip the numbers to counterclockwise and use a counterclockwise thread. And that's because, let's say, if you're, you're dialing your elevation down range and you want to adjust from 200 to 600 yards, for example, you're going to have to turn the turret counterclockwise. Now, if the numbers were indexed clockwise, when you, when you make your clicks, it's, the numbers on the turret are going to go backwards. It's going to seem like you're going from 0 to 24, 23, and so forth. Uh, but to reduce some of that confusion, we flip the numbers around. So they're uh, counterclockwise for elevation and um, counterclockwise to move your point of impact to the right. So would you say that this is closer to the modern type of scopes where you're changing point of impact? Well, I mean, it's, it kind of is, but um, well, this, that's a trick question. <laughs> You are changing your point of impact, like the modern scopes, but instead of seeing uh, your MOA value or your mill value on the turrets, it's telling you how many clicks you've made. And the, the click value would really depend on your mounting distance. For example, if you mounted it, I think 7.2, it's a quarter minute click. If you mounted at 9 point, we'll, 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 link, we'll link in the description. So originally, the, I think it was the Winchester A5 when they first mounted it 7.2 inches apart. Most values were based off of that just because that's how the military was mounting things. Mm -hmm. Carry on into the age of the Unertle a little bit later, and they stuck with that about 7.2 inch distance because on the 1903, that's just what you have. So these mounts, this Unertle or Lyman style, the newer one, are all based around the concept of you mounting it like you would on a 1903 A3, I think. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to mount it that way, if you want to put it on an AR just because... You're wild like that. I mean, you can mount it. What's the closest safe distance? Five inches between mount? Well, we'll have to go back and figure out the numbers for it. But I think it's like 5.8 or somewhere in that ballpark. It'll give you a one-third MOA per click. So if you're willing to do a bit of math or you're just judging it by eye because you're that kind of shooter, it doesn't really matter how far you mount it as long as you're comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. But 7.2 is where those divisions are going to be true to scale. One feature that our original alignment style mounts have that this one we've done away with, the F-plates, which have dropped out twice now in the course of recording this video. You don't have to worry about those falling out anymore when you're taking off your rear mount. Yep. So for this mount itself, uh, the turrets have a little, there's a turret, the shaft underneath the turret that actually externally adjusts the scope. So you don't need the F-plate to get the clicks. All the clicks are done internally inside the turret with detents. As you can see here, I've got no F-plates in. No clicks. Yeah, listen to that go. In fact, with no F-plates, these style of mounts, sometimes when you shoot, the adjustment will shift a little bit. But in this, you don't need to lock anything. It's going to hold steady, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is virtually no backlash. And even though, uh, even if, if you don't make any clicks, you're not going to actually shift the point of impact. So this was a very important thing that I only learned recently. Even if you're wiggling this, side to side, even if you have a little bit of room, unless you go a click over, the actual point of contact on your scope body is not going to be shifting up or down any. So you could wiggle it, and if you don't make that click, that's fine. You're, that's just a nervous habit. The second main feature that we've added on this scope, <laughs> keep saying the scope. <laughs> the second main feature that we've added on this mount is the ability to re-index your turrets. 
So let's say you, you're at the range, you got your zero perfectly dialed in, and now you need to re-index the turret. Um, so you can do this simply by loosening the top screw. And once you loosen that top screw, this turret will spin freely without making any clicks. Simply line it up with the zero, lock it down, and your turrets are good to go. And to really help make sure that your zero stays true or any other adjustment, this little plunger down in here that puts pressure up against your scope body, the spring inside that thing has been beefed up so much. It's, it's going to hold the tube up against your adjustments much more firmly, so when you're firing, it's not going to clap down and away just as much. It'll still slide. I mean, this is a unertal scope, but it's not going to swing, at least not as far. The third, fit, third thing, it was a, a cosmetic change. We have used a new finish for the mounts. They're a little bit shinier, a little bit more polished. They look very nice under the, under the light. So if you guys have really messed around with these traditional 8-power alignment style turrets, you know you can pretty much just take these things out whenever you want and do whatever work you need to do on the, on the mount itself. These, it's a little more of a tenuous prospect to remove the oh, turrets. Yeah, the, the little the spring. Yeah, the little, the detent inside, at least in these, is a very simple brass nipple on a spring system. This, in order to make the detents more positive, we had to revise that concept, and as such, once you take the turret out, you really got to pay attention to where that little brass nipple piece falls, because we've lost one already. Yeah, the gremlins got it. Oh my god, they did. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining us before SHOT Show. If you're going to be there, oh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for the latest videos, and if you're going to SHOT Show, we'll see you there. Booth 15441.